G'day and welcome to Aussie Vision this morning. I am joined by the wonderful Haley from the Aussie Vision team to talk about the Lithuanian Eurovision National Final, which just wrapped up. And Sylvester Bell, one of the favourites, won and will be representing Euro uh, Lithuania at Eurovision in Malmö. Uh, Haley, what do you think of Sylvester Bell's performance and win? Look, I'm absolutely delighted he won. Um, and he was too. He genuinely looked quite shocked, didn't yes. he? And um, <laughs> I noticed his, I guess, his reprise performance. He was a lot lighter, I guess. A bit of that stress had gone. Yeah, and he pressure's was, gone. Yeah, it was amped up considerably, but definitely the right choice. Um, I really enjoyed it, and um, I think he's got the goods. I really do. Yeah, I, I love the overall uh, package, the performance. I do like the darkness with the red and blue and the backup dancers. I think it will really work well in Malmo. Yeah. And good to see uh, a male artist with like a bit of a bop song uh, yeah. going to Malmo as well. Yeah. And just one thing, he actually... I just thought when I saw it again, he reminds me of Philip Ballas from Serbia last year yeah. with the, the blocks of colour. And that is really, um, it works really well. And I think in comparison to a lot of the other songs we've got so far for the year, this really pops. So, um, yeah, I couldn't be prouder. <laughs> now, uh, Sylvester was joined uh, in a super final um, with uh, The Roop and uh, Shower. Um, let's first talk about The Roop. Um, what did you think of um, their performance? Look, I, I adore the group. I really, really do. Um, it is not my favourite group song of the three, I will admit that, but um, always a flawless performance. But I have to mention his shorts. Um, <laughs> <laughs> they It looked like he was wearing sort of sort of boxer shorts on stage. Yeah. But, um, yeah, look, it was, it was slick. It was well-performed. Um, I thought they were going to take it, to be honest. Yeah. But um, I think... I think it's good to let someone else have a go. They've been twice or nearly twice. Um, yeah. And I think it's nice to let another artist, an up and coming artist, you know, have a go. Yeah, I, I agree. Um, I did enjoy the performance. It's very different. It didn't, I don't think it had the same punch as On Fire and um, Discotheque had. But um, yeah, is it Bay Datos? Oh, I'll probably butchered yeah. his name. Uh, yeah, he really did like, yeah, super performance. I also noticed his legs. Um, uh, on the Lithuanian broadcaster's uh, website, they have photos. And there was like a whole bunch of photos of his legs and his knees oh. and zoomed up. So obviously there must be a little bit of love for his uh, legs there. Um, so <laughs> that must be a thing. <laughs> Look, I've got love for his face. I think he's a very gorgeous man, as you already know. I rave on about him, but he's um, he's so char charismatic, mm. isn't he? Yeah, it really he just, is. Yeah, he really is. I can see why Lithuania, well, the Euro fans love him in general. Now, to um, a shock to many, maybe, um, Shower with Impossible was also um, in the uh, Super Final. Um, what do you think of their performance? Yeah, a shock. Um, but um, there was something there, wasn't there? Yeah. Um, that was a re that was a really um, from the heart performance. I felt, and um, that singer, he really gave it all. So um, yeah, very much stepped up another level to um, from you know the heats. I think. Yeah, I am. Um... Yeah, it was his best performance. He gave it so much. I even afterwards, I'm like, oh wow, he could take it out. <laughs> and mm. the song has grown, grown with me over time. Um, in the beginning, I didn't like that delayed, um, vocal with the with the beat. But um, yeah, no, I actually don't mind it now. Um, and mm. I think it was a worthy uh, top three um for them. Um, so did any other performer uh jump out at you, Haley? Look, I'm I'm a VB gang fan. Um, yeah, yeah, from the this start. This time there's three glasses, not two, but three. Um, <laughs> I just can't get enough of it. It's my most played national final song of the year so yeah. far. I just <laughs> cannot get enough of it. Look, it's silly, but it, it's it's fun. They're adorable. Um, their staging and everything about what they were doing was ready to go to Eurovision. But I thought, yeah, they'll struggle with the jury jury points to get through to that super final um but i did notice at the end of the song um she, her vocals sort of she did a little bit it had been edited so she was singing a little bit more and giving mm. it sort of more possible jury points um i love it and i'm disappointed it didn't go but i'm really happy about sylvester Blount. so yeah i th I, I thought they might have made the uh, super final yeah. like it, it was a really good really good performance yeah. um 
a performance that stuck out for me, I don't know if it's anyone's favourite, but Il Senso, like, I don't know, after their performance, I thought there was something about it. It just felt like something maybe Lithuania would typically choose sometimes because um, mm -hmm. sometimes they do have surprise results. Like, you have a bit of that Polish edit editing with, I don't know, some like <laughs> effects there and their yeah. hand gestures stuff. I don't know. There's something I actually liked about it. I don't know if that's everyone's cup of tea. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're right about Lithuania. I mean, last year's shock, um, uh, they do. You never know what's going to happen, mm. which I guess is a good thing, right? Yeah. But um, look, El Senso, not my cup of tea, but my <laughs> God, those people can sing, can't they? They are really no, they can. They can. vocalists. I think they'll keep trying. Um, yes. They'll keep trying and they'll probably get there one day. Yep. Um, I think you're also a fan of uh, Queen of Roses, Hayley. Oh, those girls slay. Um, <laughs> they, their, their harmonies were perfect. They were so good. And, you know, as a as a feminist, I really sort of love that whole, um, you know, feminine power vibe. And they look like the kind of lazies I'd go on a boozy brunch with. Um, I, I enjoyed it. And I think a lot of people probably would enjoy it for similar reasons, or women anyway. Now... The show this year looked a bit more ramp, uh, vamped up. The staging looked a lot bigger. Yeah. You could see the audience participation a little bit more than I recall from other um, Lithuanian national finals over the last few years. Um, Haley, what did you think of the overall show? Yeah, oh, it's like those hosts and, and um, the green room guy, they're just brilliant. They are so well rehearsed. Um, and it's clear to see that if uh, Lithuania should ever host Eurovision, it would yeah. be a very good show. Um the only thing I would say is that um, part in the middle where they had the girl group, <laughs> five songs. That Mango, really, Mango. Yeah, Mango. yeah. Um, that really, for me, was a little bit too long. Um, maybe they could have dragged out a few more monikers <laughs> or, or I don't know, but um, just maybe a little bit too long. And then at the end, that results went like that yeah. so fast. It was like, oh, we're done. <laughs> yeah, um, the results, I'm going to say, I, I quickly went to the bathroom because I had to go when Monica Sun stay, and then I almost like missed out the whole results. It happens so quickly. Oh, Lithuania, you are efficient, but sometimes too efficient. <laughs> um, yeah. But I do agree with you with the interval act, the Mango. Oh, I had to look them up. Um, they were like a past girl group from the late 90s, 2000s. Because I was like, why are they singing, was it five or six songs? They just kept going. Um but that, it looked like they had a lot of love from the audience there. <laughs> yeah, they did. What they would have helped, I think, if they'd maybe done a bit of a uh, Lithuania, previous Lithuanian song melody or something. Yeah, that would have been really sorry. good. Yeah, I agree but, with you there. Mm, anyway. Well, thank you for your insights, Haley, on Lithuania. Uh, let us know in the comments uh, what you think of what you thought of the results. I think uh, there's a lot of uh, Sylvester fans out there. Um, and he'll be going to Melbourne now, which is great to yeah. see. Yeah. And I have a Lithuanian flag from awesome. the, um, so I'll take that with me. <laughs> oh, perfect. You're all prepared. And they're going to be in the same semi final as Australia, I'm pretty sure, uh, yep. in the first semi final. So uh, Aussies can vote for him as well. Well, yep. thank you all very much and uh, catch you next time. See ya. Bye.